future land I need to run away from this and go get off the grid Feel like my brain is Welcome to Visual Nova Today I'm excited to share 10 powerful tips and tricks that will instantly level up your DaVinci Resolve workflow and make your edits smoother, faster, and more creative than ever. First, we're creating a powerful smooth blur transition. As you can see, I have two clips on my timeline and we'll build this transition right between them. Now let's start. Go to the effects panel on the left, search for adjustment clip, drag it above your video clips. Right click on the adjustment clip and set its duration. We'll keep it at 25 frames. Place this adjustment clip at the end of your first video, just like this. Now press Alt and drag to duplicate it, then place the duplicate at the beginning of the second clip. Next, go to OpenFX. Search for Gaussian Blur. Drag it onto your first adjustment clip. Now open the inspector. Here you'll see two values, horizontal strength and vertical strength. You can use them separately, but I'll use both together, so I'm enabling use same horizontal and vertical. Set both values to zero and add a keyframe. Move the playhead to the last frame of the adjustment clip. Now increase the blur strength. I'm setting it to around 0.458. Click the value and copy it. Now select the second adjustment clip and apply Gaussian blur to it as well. Place your playhead at the start of this clip and paste the same blur value. Add a keyframe. Now move the playhead to the end of the adjustment clip and bring both blur strength values back to zero. Now play it. See, your smooth blur transition is ready. Now we move on to Magic Mask. Here on my timeline, I have the video clip where we'll quickly create a clean mask. First, right-click on the clip and choose New Fusion Clip. Then go to the Fusion panel. Here you'll see two nodes, Media In and Media Out. Select the Media In node and press Ctrl plus Shift plus Spacebar. Search for Magic Mask, click it and add it. Now move to the inspector on the right side and set the quality to better. Next, uncheck the option Post Multiply Image. Under Stroke Mode, choose the plus. Now zoom in inside the viewer and simply draw over your subject like this. Once your subject is selected, turn Post Multiply Image back on. Now click Forward Track to start tracking the mask. After the track is complete, go back to the edit timeline and see the result. Before and after. And just like that, your quick and clean magic mask is ready. Next, we move on to Smart Reframe, a trick almost every social media creator uses to make their horizontal videos perfect for vertical formats like reels or shorts. Here I have a horizontal video on my timeline. To convert it into a vertical format, go to the right side settings panel, enable use vertical resolution and click save. Now you'll see that as soon as the video becomes vertical, the character's face is going out of the frame. So, to fix that instantly, we'll use Auto Reframe. Go to the Transform panel on the right side, turn on Smart Reframe and click Reframe. DaVinci Resolve will analyze the shot, it only takes a few seconds. And now, look at this, no matter where you play the video the character stays perfectly centered inside the frame. So our Smart Reframe is done. Next, we move on to Instant Color Grading with Power Grades. Here you can see my color graded project. The viewer shows the clip already graded, and below you can see the full node tree. Now, right-click on the graded clip and choose Grab Still. Open the gallery and you'll see the new power grade still right here. Press F2 to rename it, I'll name mine Cinematic. Now I'll select my second clip and apply the same grade. Just right-click the still and choose Apply Grade. And see? The exact same grade has been applied instantly, including the entire node tree. You can turn any node on or off and adjust it however you want for the new clip. Now let's save this grade and its node structure for future projects. Just drag the still into the Power Grades folder. Open it, and you can see our still saved inside. You can also see all my previous Power Grades that I use across different projects. If you want to share your Power Grades with someone or save them on a drive or another computer, here's how. Press Ctrl plus A to select everything. Right-click and choose Export. And here you can see all of your Power Grades exported as files. Now in any new project, or even on another machine, you can import these power grades into DaVinci Resolve's color panel and work much faster and more consistently. Now we move on to Timeline Push. Here is my previous project timeline. For example, let's say I want to add a sequence or some video clips in the middle of my timeline. Normally, you would select all the clips with your mouse and push them forward like this. Then add your clips between the gap, and after that you fix the empty space. 
but this method is lengthy and not professional at all. So let me show you the professional and fast method. Whenever you want to insert a clip into your timeline and need all the clips after it to move forward automatically, simply press Alt plus Y. Now just push the timeline, and everything behind your playhead will move together. After that, drag any footage or sequence you want and paste it exactly where you want it. That's it. A fast, clean, and professional way to push your timeline and insert clips in DaVinci Resolve. Now we move on to Dynamic Zoom. Here on my timeline, I have a clip where we'll create a clean, smooth zoom effect. First, place your playhead at the start of the clip. Now go to the inspector on the right side and simply turn on Dynamic Zoom. Next, in the viewer window, click the little FX arrow at the bottom left and select Dynamic Zoom. Now you'll see a green and red selection box appear on your viewer. Grab the small center point and drag it to the spot where you want the zoom to focus. For example, I'm placing it on the right side eye, where I want the zoom out movement to begin. Now adjust the inner box size by making it smaller and positioning it right on the eye. This inner box tells DaVinci where the zoom should start or end. When you play it back, you'll see it zoom from the eye smoothly and reveal the full frame. You can adjust the size and position of the selection box depending on your footage and your focus point. To make this movement even smoother, go back to dynamic zoom settings and choose ease in and ease out. And that's it, your fast, smooth dynamic zoom is ready. Now we move on to ease in and ease out. First, we'll create a manual zoom. On the right side in the inspector, go to zoom and add a keyframe at the beginning of the clip. Now move the playhead to the end of the clip and increase the zoom, just enough so it looks good. Our clip now has a smooth zoom in. Now, click the little left arrow to jump back to the first keyframe. Right-click that keyframe and choose Ease Out. Now click the right arrow to jump to the last keyframe. Right-click it and choose Ease In. And that's it. A super easy and fast way to add clean ease in and ease out animation to your shots. Now we move on to audio and video file missing. Here you can see we have two video clips on the timeline. The first one has missing audio, there's nothing on the audio track, but the second clip has audio. So how do we find that missing audio? Super simple. Just select the clip that's missing audio and press F on your keyboard. This will open that clip in the viewer. Now in the viewer window, simply grab the audio track from below and drag it back onto your timeline. And see, our missing audio is back. In the same way if your video is missing but the audio is there, just select the audio clip, press F and you'll see the video. Grab the video and drag it onto the timeline. It's an easy and fast way to recover your lost audio or video. Now we move on to nudge audio and video. Here you can see my previous project. Let's say we have a clip on the timeline and we want to move it from track 1 to track 2. Normally we grab it with the mouse and drag it upward, but this can mess up your video duration and shift positions where you've made cuts. I'll show you a better and professional way. Select your clip, then press Alt plus up arrow to move the video to any upper track easily. Press Alt plus down arrow to move it back down to lower tracks. You can do the same with audio clips. This is a simple and smart way to nudge your audio and video up and down without disturbing your timeline. Now we move on to adjustment clip. First, drag an adjustment clip over your clips on the timeline. Right click on it and set the duration. Now, any effect or transition you apply to this adjustment clip will affect all the clips beneath it. You can drag it from one clip to another, and whatever you've applied will mostly remain intact. This is super useful for both new and old projects. Everything from effects, rotation, zoom and slash out. You name it. Almost every editor uses this on a daily basis. It's really powerful and one of the most used tools in editing. We've just gone through 10 powerful tips and tricks in DaVinci Resolve that will make your editing faster, smoother and more professional. If you found these tricks helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Visual Nova for more awesome tutorials. Stay tuned, keep experimenting and I'll see you in the next video.